Um, so we think this is 90 degrees. It looks like a 90 degrees, right? But let's see what we get. We are at 85.48. So right now we are at 179. Let's reset this and let's open this up bit by bit. So you see that? 45. So when I'm cutting angles, for example, right here, I want to measure what this angle is. I'm basically just going to go to here and right there. And that is my angle. And we are at 45.36 degrees. Very handy tool. I want to show you one of the best new tools that I got from my toolbox. This is a time saver. So this is a digital angle measure and finder. So the great thing is you can start off by even this angle and then it's showing 14.45. So we're going to reset this to zero. And now anything that comes from this side out is going to start creating a new angle. See that? That's the, one of the best devices. Now on top of that, it's got three plums here. You've got one here, one there, and one there. So let's go test this out in the real world. So let's just say you're cutting a tile or something and you want to do a measure. So first we'd flush it, reset it, and now we just open it up. And we go as far as here. There we go, that's pretty plump. So we think this is 90 degrees. It looks like a 90 degrees, right? But let's see what we get. We are at 85.48. Now there's also a lock here as well. So you could just go like this, tighten it up, and now this is locked, which means you can't accidentally change it. And if you want to unlock it, you basically just loosen this up and it just goes a little easier when you close it. So a very handy dandy little device to figure things out. Okay. Too bad that that's not telescoping, but that's okay. We can always just do it the other way. Go over here, right? So definitely something you want to consider adding to your toolbox. Also, there are these plumb tools. If we wanted to see if this is flat, here you can see that's flat. And if we want to go see if this is plumb, we could see that it is just about plumb. So very handy, like I said, a device and then it extends out as well to here. Now there is a hold button as well. So you can hold it so you don't accidentally change it. Right, so let's try this again. So right now we are at 179. Let's reset this and let's open this up bit by bit. So you see that? 45. So when I'm cutting angles, for example, on the latest project, which is I will be doing my tiles right here, I want to measure what this angle is. I'm basically just going to go to here and right there and that is my angle and we are at 45.36 degrees very handy tool